Hi, I'm Caitlin Kalakak, Division Manager of Microservicing Contractors. Today, I'm going to talk about some of the most frequently asked questions that we receive when we have a new microservicing project. We understand that you might have some concerns about this upcoming project, but we want you to know exactly what to expect. First, what is microservicing? Microservicing is a pavement preservation treatment that combines emulsion, aggregate, water, and mineral filler or cement. When applied to existing roads as a wearing course, it creates a protective layer that extends the life of your roads by four to five years, resulting in significant cost savings for taxpayers by preventing the need for costly repairs. What kind of roads benefit from microsurfacing? Microsurfacing is incredibly versatile. We can apply it to virtually any type of asphalt road from quiet subdivision streets to busy highways and everything in between. The key requirement is that the existing road must be in relatively good condition. We also use it to seal construction joints, which helps prevent water infiltration and pothole formation. You might be wondering why we apply this to roads that are already in good condition. Well, this is actually the perfect time to apply microsurfacing. Think of it as preservation rather than rehabilitation. The goal is to seal the asphalt surface, preventing water from penetrating into the cracks and causing future potholes. It's like applying a protective coating to your roads before the problems develop. During a microsurfacing project, residents can expect temporary road closures or lane restrictions, restricted on-street parking, and short-term limited access to driveways. We will have flaggers located throughout the project to help residents navigate through the neighborhood and in and out of their driveways. Many times we get concerns about the initial appearance of microsurfacing. It's important to remember that microsurfacing is different from traditional asphalt. Initially, the surface will appear rough and somewhat coarse. However, after about a month of regular traffic, the surface will smooth out and develop a more uniform appearance. This is the opposite of traditional asphalt, which starts smooth but roughens over time. Typically, a microsurfacing treatment lasts six to eight years before needing to be resurfaced. The exact duration depends on factors like the initial road condition and traffic volume. You might see that there is sand on some of these newly treated roads. We apply sand in high traffic areas like driveways, intersections, and entrances. This allows vehicles to safely drive over the fresh microsurfacing without tracking or disturbing the new surface while also protecting the vehicles. It is a temporary measure that helps protect treatment during its initial setting period. Another question we get is how quickly can we drive on the newly treated surface? One of the great benefits of microsurfacing is its quick application and curing time. Once we lay down the microsurfacing mix, the road can typically be reopened to traffic in about an hour. What happens when microsurfacing wears off? The microsurfacing will wear off over time with normal traffic. When this happens, it is time to start looking into additional methods of pavement preservation. Anything from crack sealing to microsurfacing to a cape seal. I hope this information helps you better understand the microsurfacing process. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to someone on our team. Thank you for your patience and we look forward to working with you on this microsurfacing project.